Courtesy Flesh. And uh, hello, everybody out there currently uh, talking in the chat. Uh, and uh, anybody who might be watching this later on in the evening or whenever you're doing, wherever you're driving, we're going to have a fantastic MRE that was sent to us from the glorious Space Station 13 Corporation Nanotracen. They sent it to us uh, via their quartermaster of regional food exports, uh, number seven, Squick. That is correct. Yes. And Goat is also here, too, but he's... Also, there's a train here. There's it's a train. A lobby. Yeah, trains do I'm that. I'm getting ready to crowbar this open. Yeah, yeah. we got to crowbar this nanotrace in Space Station 13. Well, well let's, uh, let's go ahead. So, in time, Scrambles is king. Yes, this is MRE time. Oh, I think I unplugged my uh, chat fo uh, laptop here. I will in a moment. I, I like to have my uh, equipment not breaking on me, but, you know... That's what Mike gets for buying analog. Anyway, let's cut over to the box itself. Look at this fine craftsmanship sent in. And, of Ooh. course, our wonderful little crowbar, which I am not allowed to touch. Um, and uh, inside is uh, a magical, wonderful MRE sent to us from a faraway space station. Yeah. And Goat is trying to open it right now. Yeah, Goat, open it with a crowbar you know how to use from playing... Gabe Newell presents Half Life. <laughs> yeah, 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 two, yeah. Two seconds later, it just turns into pieces, even though it didn't break. How about you pop the side that's obviously open? <laughs> yeah, like let's open up the side that doesn't. No, no, it's totally not open. We didn't open this before. It's oh no, it has nails. We have nails in it. It's very dangerous. Uh, they can't very see. You, you can see where where they're at. They can't listen, see that. Listen, listen, boys and girls, don't. Yeah. Don't. Play with the nails. Nah. They're very dangerous. You see? That's what happens. Save the nails for yeah. later. Remember, boys and girls, if you get sent a wooden box, you can save the lid with the nails in it for later, and you can leave it on the other side of your door in case someone kicks it in in the morning. This is called a Detroit floor mat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The Detroit welcome mat? Well, no, I, I shit you not. I knew a guy in detroit who every place he moved in he's like i gotta make a welcome mat and i was like what do you mean and he had a rug that he would drive a bunch of nails and shit through that he would pull and he would like pull it in front of the door because he's like they kick the door in and they step in they, in the dark they just see a welcome mat but they don't see like all the barbed wire and broken <laughs> glass and sh no he lived in some bad places yeah that that guy was playing fucking stalker in real life well yeah, yeah but it was it was one of those rubberized kitchen mat you know the more i talk about this the more i realize i probably shouldn't talk about this but you know what he was sounds really like a fun nice guy. guy yeah that sounds like a fun person all right, I'm going to put this crowbar away. Okay. Uh, so I am going to reveal what was inside. So imagine, if you will, you are currently sitting out inside of a, uh, you know, inside of a uh, nanotrace and designated war zone, which is usually Lava Lands or wherever. Wherever. I, wherever. I mean, you, wherever depending it's... upon your station and your time causality. Yeah. There may, there may be... Yeah, we are both like, we stopped because Goat made a really loud thunk noise. He thought he fell. Did he poop? Was that a pooping noise? His poops are normally not shotgun loud. No, maybe. Maybe he shot a zombie. I don't know. I don't oh, know. No, he's fine. He's coming out with a napkin, not a gun. All right, cool. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, a crow bar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can see the chat too, right? I can indeed read the chat. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, let's reveal what you get inside your designated crate for As one person. This is for one person. One. One. You only get one oh, per person. So the fuck inside. Is this? What is this? Is, well, let's, let's start with our, our, our big item, obviously, is, uh, we have this, uh, Presto Hot Dogger, um, from the Presto Hot Dogger Company. Uh, which is, if you look, is trademarked, so you can't really uh, 
You can't say that. We you, gotta we gotta pay presto. We gotta pay yeah, we pay presto for yeah, that. Yeah, we can't say their brand. Also, do they, do they don't still make coffee maker, coffee makers or These something? These things are really fucking dangerous. We'll I show you think. the whole thing here in a sec. No, else? it's it's a fuse box in which you put hot dogs. <laughs> Yes. With a plastic VHS cover on. Now the front. you can cook your hot dogs in You can 60 burn seconds. your house down with 220 volts of porkery goodness. The Presto Hot Dogger. Look at these fine Gee, Bill, how come your mom lets you have two wieners? Caring for your hot dogger. Please do not immerse in water or say goodbye to your children. You will die and perish if you wet the hot dogger. Here you go. So you can take and flip through that. I, it's it's an and oath. yeah and uh, and also this uh, in case you're wondering what like what was else there was actually a gun that was in here we had to take it out because Twitch wouldn't let us it was yeah, a fake uh, gun just clarifying I, it was I a just toy have, I can have my we can have our man titties out and shit yeah. as long as so, it's in a pole so the idea was that you get a hot dog cooker a 1911 he he made a nice very well painted 1911 that we can't show yeah, on a replica. This. Yeah. Um. And then he gave us the cigarette case, gentlemen. So you get dropped into a war zone, and you have to eat out in the field. Uh, you just get a bunch of cigarettes, a gun, a hot dog cooker, and the word hunt. Um. So all the very motivational. All the provisions. My morale is all time high. The only MRE that's uh, worse than this is the Latvian one. So. I don't know. I mean, I, at least they at least he gives you a gun. They don't even get. They give you a sharp thing they found in the ground. Well, yeah, that's true. All so right. I'm reading the hot dogger, and it says, um, uh, <clears throat> "You know, I'm I'm somewhat alarmed here. I'm kind of scared. Take the lid off, Mike, so they can see what's oh, inside. Yeah, yeah. Clearer. So let me press the lid opener button, and inside of this." <laughs> Is uh, six very sharp spikes. Yeah, some kind of torture device. Obviously, this yeah. is like an Iron Maiden. I just, we I, yeah. won't need eyes where we're going. So it's six Jesus. spikes, but if you look right the here, the Hellraiser cooking machine. These little spikes are sticking straight up. Are actually the uh, spikes needed? All right. So, Mike, can I can I interrupt your interruption Power. here? Yes. All right. So here's the problem with the hot dogger. The instructions are rather explicit. It says that you must separate the cover from base of hot dogger, TM, electric <laughs> hot dog cooker, wash unit before using for the first time. So whatever industrial solvent they fucking made the hot dogger with. Yeah, leaded, leaded. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah just leaded. Poly, leaded poly soap. chlorinated biphenyl uh, that they made it's this out of. In the 50s. Whatever PCBs they made this out of yeah. are dangerous. Remember, in the 50s, lead so, was safe. Remember? Listen, listen, you need to listen to these fucking instructions, Mike, because okay. we're plugging this in in our fucking house, which we fucking bought, so I don't want it to fucking burn down. You have to listen. It's almost like I, I, I planned how to do this. No, listen, Mike. This, this whole stream is just an insurance scam. Listen. Wow. Shut up. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Listen, so I, that's why I'm reading the instructions for the Presto. Continue. Hold on. Presto rights reserved how to use your electric hot dog hot dogger trademark. Now you can cook one to six hot dogs and then in parentheses, Frankfurters. What fucking era of America is this? The 50s? Yeah, but where they're like, hot dogs, by what do you mean? Oh, you mean Frankfurters? I am well familiar with those. Now, this was an era when people would have steak and a tall glass of milk for dinner. That's right. And they'd make jello out of everything. And everything was missionary and boring. All right, so it says you can cook one to six hot dogs, Frankfurters, in just 60 seconds. There's no waiting or boiling. I'm scared. This new fast cook, it's in parentheses, fast cook method keeps the meat juicy. Ellipses cooks it clear through, comma, with a delicious flavor, period. So we must separate the cover from the base of the hot dogger. Electric hot dog cooker. We've done that. And we have to wash the unit before using it the first time. Now, the next stage, we must skewer one to six hot dogs on opposing prongs. One to six. 
We can't cross them. We can't make X's. There, no. It says on opposing prongs. It is insistent. <laughs> on opposing prongs, the diagram shows a woman or an exceptionally feminine male who is very certain of himself making these hot dogs. Um, it shows a woman's hand. And she is she is there with the hot dogs, and her jewelry is dangling, and she is placing the hot dogs on the skewers. However, it shows her placing it on the prongs, but not on the cord side. So you must place it on the prongs first. The cord side need not be involved. However, the next stage after that is ridiculous. Don't I, cross the dogs. I'm you sure cannot I'm cross the dogs. It Someone is insistent. Said, as it an says, electrician, I wouldn't touch this thing with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> listen, it's safe. Look, Presto, rights reserved, hot dogger, TM. Look at the logo for the hot dogger. Would the hot dogger lie to us? Look, Look. it's we're using hot dogs as resistors. This is very safe. Listen, there is a Presto limited warranty here. <laughs> National Presto In Industries Incorporated, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Yes. And I we I have this. And it, I I want to let you guys know before we do this that this warranty below complies in all respects with the 1975 federal warranty law. So we are very good with our Presto Rights Reserved Hot Dogger trademark. Yes. Um, all right. So, Mike, you need to skewer one to six hot dogs on okay. opposing prongs. Don't, don't cross, don't the, cross the dogs. Do not. Well, okay. First of all, listen. It's, listen, it's very safe because all of the power is actually being delivered through these two plastic prongs that are connected to this wire oh, God, in the lid. The living room's going to smell like burning plastic. No, yeah. no, Mike. Look no, no, go. Wow. Listen, it says, it says here that we can now cook one to six hot dogs. Or frankfurters for those unfamiliar with the vernacular of hot dogs this thing has been used before. eg communist spies <laughs> this has been used before i could also um, somebody somebody definitely used this before it has been they it, did. It, it was tested it's like, oh, God. I, I don't like how i don't like how it's a woman on the, how it's like a married woman in the in the instructions because that is zero out of ten for the realistic wow. use of this user of this product. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this yeah, is like, no, it, I'm gonna it bring it show, to my it should show a guy with a fist the size of a ham. It, it should no, and, it should show a guy be... in a suit who's like sweating bullets. Listen, yeah. I'm we're not gonna die. I actually made sure Don't. to Let me get the fire extinguisher. Yeah, I was actually looking it's a space, for it. It's a Space Station 13 episode, guys. I looked all over for it, man. I have no idea where it's at. Okay, look. I put it away, and then it disappeared. Just like Space Station 13? Yeah, sure. Space Station 13, exactly. I had the fire extinguisher, and it's, then it was I've gone. bumped into it a few times. I had I it in the know. kitchen don't next to the stove. Don't worry about it. I had it in the kitchen right next to the don't stove. Don't worry about it. I we had an electrician in the legion come out oh. and he said everything is hunky dory, safe, good to go. Yep. Run it as hard as you he want. He told so, us yeah, he's like you're good to go. He put, he, he said, gave it like a couple of yanks. Yeah, sure. he dude, he pulled the wires wipe taut. This off. You don't need to wipe it off. The electric mic I'm listen. I'm going to eat it. So yes, I will. It says separate cover from the base of hot dog art trademark electric hot dog cooker wash unit before using for the first time. I just had a nightmare, chat. Chat, can I share a private nightmare with all of you? I I just had. Yeah, I had it in the kitchen. I have no idea where it went. All right. It's right here. Yeah, they can't hear me. They're just they're just Beavis and Butt heading in the kitchen right now. All right. So here's my private nightmare: was that someone is is going to use. Someone is going to use that trademark line that I just did of, you know, the <laughs> the base of the hot dog trademark electric hot dog cooker. Uh, they're going to end up clipping that line at some point in any of its many clips. And uh, they're going to use it out of context or perhaps in a MechWarrior 5 HUD. And it will just pop up as a warning. I just had that as a just nightmare moment. I need to be more self-aware. Hmm. 
Don't give me that look. I, I, okay, so we have our fire extinguisher. Let me see. We have our fire extinguisher. We have, look, I am going to read um, the, uh, the warranty out loud so there is a record of it, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna read this warranty out loud. Let's see. This quality Presto appliance is designed and built to provide many years of satisfactory performance under normal use. What the fuck is normal use? Like, you can't take it camping? You're saying I can't take this out and make it, you know, run on a generator? Let's just put this over here. Okay. Now, I wanted to make sure before I put anything on this that it was at least bacteria safe. <laughs> I don't know if the other parts are going to be any safe, but I, we have done everything. Electricity is going to cure the illness of the world. Nikola Tesla said that. I am no, looking forward. No, no. Yeah. Nikola Tesla said. So this is why the state, I think. No, I don't no, Mike. It, he was Nikola Tesla who said, you will live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. That's right. He so, did. Speaking of man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. You he, was not, he wasn't very happy about that whole he had a hotel thing. bill. It was racked up. Don't worry about it. So you must separate the cover of uh, you must separate cover from base of hot dogger trademark electric hot dog cooker wash unit before using for first time. That is check. Two. We must skewer one to six hot dogs on opposing prongs. Note: hot dog cooker would not operate unless hot dogs are in place. That is in bold and in slightly larger and offset font as though struck later with some emergency. (laughs) Uh, I'm not wrong. All right, so let's not Sherlock Holmes that one and discombobulate and move to item number three. Texas having a Harry Dubois moment. Mm, Visual calculus. Yeah, more like encyclopedia. Huh. All right, so let's see. Three. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear, dear, dear. All right, Mike. Yes. Have you skewered the dogs? No. Oh, no, I. You need to skewer the dogs, Mike. Jesus, we're, we're fuck. The, okay, the fire extinguisher's there. Okay. We have the fire extinguisher. We have 85 extension cords. Let me make sure this is good for it's electrical. Rebel. Let me make sure this is good for electrical fires. All yeah. fire extinguishers are good for all fires. It yeah, says that on the side of them. It says Yeah, they're good for it. It says Lamau shoot at fire. First of all, if don't anything catches fire in here, it's gonna be nothing because it's just plastic. Just and don't worry. No, listen, listen. We're on a we're in a circuit that will trip don't worry. if something explodes. Our so front don't worry. door. Our front door it's is right like there. a foot or no, our front wall rather is a foot thick. So if the fire starts, it yeah, won't spread beyond this house. That's true. We do have very thick uh exterior walls. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So let's begin. Let's start the oven. All right. So let's. I'm scared. Okay. It says you must you must listen, agent. Skewer one to six hot dogs on opposing prongs. Wait, Mike's making like the Arc du Triomphe on these on this thing because the dogs ah. are too big. Yes. Squick vexation says in case of fire, yes. leave. I am going to just do one. Well, you got hot dogs that are way too big. You got them coffee dogs. Hot, I got I got the ones you'd get in the field. And thank you for the courtesy. It was Mark the, Mark Malark the matter. Oh God, it's hot dog old Sparky. Listen, no, no, you have to understand that it doesn't matter the size of the hot dog. It's really how you eat it. Well, Mike, you're just about to calculate the resistance of a hot dog in real time. So. Isn't that exciting? So here we go. You need to yeah. insert the tabs at the back That's of cover. That's why they put these in, little guides here so the hot the, dog doesn't slide. Insert the tabs at the back of cover into slots in back of base. Close cover, pressing down firmly. Done. Firmly. Well done. Tax Tax collector. Collector. All right. Stand by. Stand by. Okay. They definitely tested this thing. All right. Plug cord into a 120 volt AC outlet. Begin timing immediately. It says begin timing immediately. I, I also like that if you look at the look at the stream over on your right there, Tex. Does this look like some 1970s shit? This now? looks horrible. Listen, yes. it says 
it says i have to plug this in please no no don't do that yet it says begin timing immediately cook one to one and a half minutes depending on type and brand of hot dog some brands may take as long as two minutes we're gonna do 90 seconds to stop the process unplug and remove cover all right whenever you're ready mike Wait. All right. It, no, no off button. Just it's just plug in, plug out. Correct. What the fuck? However, Mike, I'm not going to be holding this microphone when this happens. However, Mike, I need to read one important bolded, oh. different color back then. Different print color meant serious warning. Yes. It says, the hot dogger electric hot dog cooker is designed to cook frankfurters only. Thaw frozen. That's what they are. Thaw frozen frankfurters before putting them in the hot dog cooker. Cold frankfurters take extra cooking time. For best results, do not reheat cooked frankfurters in hot dog cooker. They knew their audience. This was made for neckbeards of yesteryear. (laughs) This is amazing. That's what this was. This is a Gen 1 internet land cooking machine, Mike. All right. All right, here I Whenever go. You're ready, all right, Mike, there are the no timer. more instructions. God help us all. Plug it in. Spirit Santo Grate Day. Right. Right. And that was it. I I plugged it in. No smoke, no bang. I'm disappointed. That's it. The hot dog cookers. Now we just wait and see the steam. That's how we'll know it's being cooked. Yeah. It's... We just wait for it to steam as we got our. Uh, this it, is... it, all of a sudden, like the lights dim and the hot dog is illuminating the room and it gets brighter. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, and then it's just. <laughs> it's like a filament. Yeah, we're we're literally just injecting electricity into hot dogs. This is uh, that's what we're doing. This is like this is like something out of Arcanum. Uh, it's definitely cooking. Uh, no, it's, it's not. Yeah, it is. The top of it's actually warm. It better it's, be. We're it forty-five be. seconds in. It's yeah, fucking. It's, pre- yeah, on. there's heat coming off. Come of on, that. this. You're you're not telling me that the Presto hot dogger. I love that fucking logo. That is the worst fucking thing. All right, so the Arc de, de Triomphe. Oh, your Majesty. Sixty uh, seconds. The Arc de, de Triomphe of wiener meat that you have there is just gonna sit there. And this thing is bulging. What? 20 it's seconds growing. to go. Cool. I don't know if you could see the it. The well, plastic or the hot dog? The hot dog. You oh, see, thank God. There's an imprint. I, I, I thought it was coming through that okay, much temperature. Get ready to unplug in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Unplug. We are go for unplug. We are go for unplug. This is unplugged? Yeah, we heard that buzzing noise while it was running. Ooh. Nice little, uh, yeah. You can see nice there's like, hiss. yeah, nice hiss. I'll be fucking damn. Is it done? It's hot. Is it hot? It's not like this is like, we just got it off the grill like maybe ten minutes ago, and so it's still sitting on the table warm. Disappointing. We need more time. It, you know what it needs? It needs more juice. We need a two twenty, two forty. Yeah, America's kind of lacking in that ability, but. Uh, They'll definitely make us pay for our uh, very very low power uh, setup. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep running this for. Let's try for another minute, okay? We're gonna see what happens, uh, and then after that, I'll just load it up and see how much it can cook with all of them running. You may right. plug one ready. All right. So the hot dogger stress test challenge has begun. Uh, by the way, we may need to start taking contributions for our electric bill <laughs> with the hot dogger. That it's bad enough. We already have our three. Editing computers, yeah. It's, yeah, it's it's one of those things. Jesus well, I'm not editing computers. You go to his gaming computer. You have your uh, like hybrid computer, and then I've got my editing machine. Those things are pretty uh, pretty drawn on power. All right. Well, let's let's. What sounds does the hot dogger make? Put wow. the microphone up to it. Thirty seconds. It's silent. It makes the sanitizing sound of electricity. This is really a dystopian food cooker. <laughs> yeah, it and is. it's actually working. You can see the steam is starting to appear right there. Actually, it's getting hot in there because uh, the whole thing is actually starting to fog this, up. This okay. thing was probably designed ten for a nine, standard American eight, hot dog. Seven. Wait, six, we bought some. Five, we bought four, some fancy sausages. Three, we did. Two, you know what? One. 
Go. We're going to evolve this yeah. experiment. We will. What else can this... Yeah, this thing's actually starting what to What else up. can the hot dog cook? Also, please... Th here, okay, Tex. Hold on. Chat, no one call the fire department until I start screaming. That's when you know it's gone too far. All right, so this is what it looks like when <laughs> it's cooked. Here's that dark hole of sadness that's burnt now. <laughs> It just looks like it's a just charred. Yeah, this just looks like a wiener. <laughs> this just straight up looks like a wiener now. It's, we it's did charred some, on the inside. Yes, we did some. See. We did some sounding. That's gross, huh? All right, give me, give me that wiener. I'll show. You, I'll break. Let's break wiener. We'll break wiener. Yeah, Mazel Tov. Mazel tov. Oh God, it's cooked. It is. It's cooked all the way through. It's almost like hot dogs are very conductive. In case of emergency, the nanotrace and hot dogger can be left plugged in to destroy arms, supplies, classified material, personnel, and bases to prevent them from falling into enemy okay, hands. Okay, it's not evenly cooked at all. Even by hot dog centers, there's like some cold spots. But it's like, hmm. it's okay. Yeah. It tastes microwave. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a microwave hot dog. Just to show you guys I am eating it. Yes. Let me, let me show you what the hands look like of someone who'd actually buy. <laughs> try one. Try one. Oh wait, wait. Tex is gonna put his uh, own uh, sausages. in He there. said, "Let me show you the hands of what an actual owner of these things would have looked like back in the day." Yeah. Pickle. No, we're not putting pickles uh, on here. Don't have one on. Pickles would be funny, but uh, not because I'm inside. I'd rather not put pickles on this thing. I thought about it though. Don't worry. And he's over here cutting. He's got these little fancy sausages with all kinds of fun seasoning on them. It's not bad, though. It actually cooked it pretty well, all things considered. Like, it's actually still hot in my hand. Yeah. What has science done? Yeah. What has it done? It's actually pretty good. So, I have to give this up to Nanotracen. They know how to make. They know how to code a. Uh, are we gonna put it on a different prong? I will use my own. Ooh, this one's got cheese on it. Yes, that's that's Texas fine handiwork. America! <laughs> Man, look how fucking broken my fingers are. Yeah. Don't break your hands on camera. He has a he has a fun party trick where he breaks his fingers and he goes, "Hey, look at this!" <laughs> ah! Yeah, he ran into the skeleton king. Well, yep. all right, that's the one we're playing. Hell yeah! Oh, God, how about a Twizzler or Red Vine? See, look, no, these are perfect fucking. Is that Jarl? You're right. <laughs> Jarl's right. We need to get some Twizzlers. I'm not going to get Twizzlers. I'm I'm just not okay. Yes. Now make some more Arc du Triomphe of fucking hot dogs. Make sure the dog is firmly secure to avoid tragedy. It's all right. Using this already is a tra culinary tragedy. And this is coming from a Brazilian. The all land right. of like the fucked up weirdo pizzas. Yeah, Brazilian pizzas are hilarious. And sopa de macaco. Uma delícia. You know, you know what they are? It's it, A Brazilian pizza is a family experience. I, I highly recommend. Go to a Rodizio de Pizza. If you're every picture I've seen, it just looks like every family is just having a great time having those pizzas. <laughs> those are fucking great. Yeah, because they look cursed, but they're probably amazing to yeah, taste. Yeah, it's just... All right, here we go. Yeah. Bye. Oh, shit. All right. We're going to give this one two minutes. Texas sausage, which is filled with cheese, is now God, currently cooking in the, the hot smell dog. smell is going to be fucking awful. It smells like a hot dog in here. No, I'm saying it's going to be awful when that thing's done. Can it cook side corn? Yeah, I probably could cook an ear of corn. It would probably make it popcorn. It, no, it would brown the power out. It would yeah. just burn the cob uh, and not cook any of the corn. I want my Looney Tunes logic, all right? No. Yeah. This thing I want to be able to just... Look, how many people do you know in your lifetime that you've ever met that you're like, I want to be able to throw them through a wall and have a person-sized hole <laughs> like person them. Person-shaped hole. Yes, like them, just right through the door. You know what I mean? And you're just like, get out of here. 
And so that way they know they're the ones that made that hole. Allo, don't even Jesus H. Christ us, man. You know it's you know this is good to be delicious. And go, you're gonna have to leave this one on for a little bit longer. Yeah, I know. It's we're one we're uh two one, no, one no. minute well, through. You know what? Two minutes. The hot dogger was designed for nineteen fifties hot dogs. It was not designed for a the Enhanced, modern, yeah, modern American, hot or dogs. after revolutionary Maybe pressure it was. from Have hungry you, Americans. Listen, think about it. You saw how much chance, saw how much hair was on my hands. I have meaty hands. You do not have hairy hands. Uh, just it's it's listen. one. Yeah, that's the sound of freedom. Oh God! It sounds like a sink. It sounds like, it sounds like. Hold on, I'll be on the show in a minute. Yeah. Oh my god, it's got a smoke screen in there. Pop smoke. Science is happening. Hang on, I'm popping smoke. Right. <laughs> Hot dog. Smoke out. Ten, nine, eight. Don't seven, worry about it. Don't six, worry about it. Five. Don't worry about four, it. Three. Two. One. Two minutes. Don't worry. And the cooking has stopped. Prepare. To see what happens. Got a little steamy in here. Ooh, mm. that is not a very pleasant smell. It told you. Needs more time. It was cooking all the water, as you guys can see. There is plenty of it. Now it's a it. skinny hot dog. Uh, it's hard to tell with this lighting, but there's actually a lot of like yellow. Plus, uh, yeah, the, the hot dog uh, juice on the bottom of this tray now. The humors of the hot dog. Ah, yes. Now, Mike, you know what you need to do to really put it on this... for another two minutes. You're no, correct. No, no, no. Yes, no. yes, listen, it has to. It needs listen, more time. Can, can you please, please listen, listen? Load up the hot dog with all the hot dogs and see what the fuck happens. That's what needs to happen. You want me to do that right now? Yeah, load that thing the fuck up, bro. All right, let's load it up. We got one that's already cooking, though. So we're you putting wanna... it for just two more minutes anyway. It takes two minutes for the regular hot dogs. See what I mean? Yeah. They'll come out. Right. We need to see if the hot doggers still got that juice. Well, you know what? No. We we need some variety. Oh, God. Please tell me you're not getting a cucumber. No. I don't want to die. <laughs> the chat's just like, stop. <laughs> Do not plug that into my wires. Hi, Pharisees. Don't worry. We've been plugging it in and out of the wires because it doesn't have a power button. It just plugs right in. But don't worry. Mike went and got some cables and strung them through the house in addition to the cables we already have. He strung the... He he strung the cables <laughs> into the other cables. And, oh, man, there's so many wires. Don't worry about it, though. Use the power of the dark side to cook the hot dogs. Don't worry about it. It's yes. all fine. Look, Mike's getting things in there. Mike's getting things in there to load up the hot dogger with. And uh, he's shouting, yeah. So here we go. Don't worry. Yeah, it's just straight 120 volt right into them hot dogs. And you just close it and it's a fuse. That's the way it works. Ugh, why do you have to say it like that? It does. It actually has loose skin on it. It has loose skin on it. Yeah. Excellent. Not all hot dogs go to heaven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so don't worry about it, man. It's, Thanks, it's just It's just... Oh, God. Look, there's gonna be a fire or something, and I don't, I don't think that. Pharisee says, "I will not even show up to piss on the burnt husk of that house if you fools burn it down." <laughs> we have a fire extinguisher, and we're sure it works. I even took out the. We should say something fucked up, like we're sure it works. We had to use it when we plugged it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, look, it's just <laughs> making these dogs ride the lightning. Yeah, it's a Jacob's Ladder with a hinge. <laughs> it's, it's part Jacob's Ladder, part Iron Maiden. No, it's it's just so like... Unfortunately, there's not... I looked at the other pack. Dead man walking. I see a bad hot dog rising. Ugh. 
All right, don't cross the meat. That's the uh, that's the uh, message for today. So I'm going to put a nice yeah, variety on here. One's going to be really cooked, that's for sure. I I mean, <laughs> this is going to be awesome and or bad. And it's probably going to be very bad. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to put no three more hot dogs in here. I think I got a plan. It's Let's start with just this carrot. Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> There we go. It doesn't need to connect. Unless it does. Don't worry. There we go. I made a connection with the carrots. You did not. I did. Look at the screen. That Mike, is... no! What do you mean, Mike, no? You mean Mike, yes? No, those are going to burn. You know what? Fucking do it, bro. Oh, You're God. right. We also need one of these. There we go. Nice little egg to go on there. Oh, Oh. Oh, I forgot a carrot. I'll just throw it in there for like the soup. No. no oh. Yeah. Ew. No. And Mike, no. A garnish. Mike. No. Not the hot dogger. Jesus. Here we go. I. Oh. I think this. Silly is me. I forgot to put it in the right way. Okay. Yeah. I. Mm. Sorry, my egg was getting a little bit uh, out of place. Yes, the egg. Oh, this is actually getting harder to push in. There we go. Things Mike says. There we go. Uh-oh. You need a little bit of egg with your hot dog. Are you guys ready? Go. Yeah. I need you to give me a nice two-minute count for this. Oh, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whenever you're ready. What? Oh, my! I thought you were trying to be no, all cinematic I, and I, shit. No, 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 no. My, my, uh, I accidentally hit that with my elbow. It's making the worst noises. God, you can hear it from here. Yeah. 30 seconds. That does work, doesn't it? How about, how about, uh, what about, um, I'm pretty sure the carrots only need one minute. No, they need two. One minute. Just kidding. Hey. Thanks for the courtesy. Light tech, yeah. Thank you for the courtesy. Yeah. What's it sound oh. like? I hate it sounds this. like a toilet flushing in the distance. Like when the when the tanks starting to refill after you flush. I mean, mm. so many things are cooking in there right now. Thirty seconds. Look, I'm making an omelet with this thing. Really. No, no. Fuck you. No. Yeah. No. I think no. that this thing is ready seconds. for no. the step up. No. 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 What Ten do you mean? Seconds. Do not eat. How do you know it's not going to be good? Mike, don't eat this. Five. I'll four, bite. I'll cook you three, Arby's. Two. Look, here's the thing. One. I'll make Arby's. Arby's. Unplug. Abort. 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 I'll abort. eat Arby's abort. on stream abort. one day. Sir, do not redeem the plug. Do Hold not redeem. Go. Do not redeem. Listen, I'm trying to have a conversation oh. with my friend. Anyway, you know, Arby's is delicious. What's going on? What what happened to your headphones? It was just super loud to him for him. He's on a different. Yeah, we'll need to get the other headphones for you. Uh, Texas low impedance headphones. All right. Yeah, careful not to scream too loud. Wow. Well, that was two minutes thirty. More seconds. wells. Thank you for the courtesy. And yog. I'd love that too. Uh, yes. Here it is, the final reveal. Oh, look at that! Ugh. It's like a soup nobody wants to eat. How are the carrots even remotely cooked? You can smell them. They are cooked. Holy fuck! They did. This does work. Oh god! Work. You put an egg, and I didn't notice. Yeah, I cracked an egg in there. Um, the hot. The carrots are actually one hundred percent warm. 
they did not cook it well at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They did make a, they did cook though. All right, let's see how this hot dog is. I, the the hot dog, not the not the hipster sausages. The, no, the hipster sausages. Okay. I like those hipster sausages, Me but too. I don't want them. Here, goat's gonna have himself a little I'm bit. I'm gonna of have sausage. one with a bun and sauce. All right, Tex. Here's the one that you made earlier that oh. got an extra five minutes of cooking. Oh my god, this thing is boiling hot. Yeah, no, thank looks you. Like a, I'm 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 quite fine. This I have looks enough like a, digestive issues. Oh, no, it's guys fine. Go, no, it, Look, no, it's, it just looks like a looks like a pee pee. You know. Go ahead. Here, put this in your mouth, man. It's delicious. Don't swing that way, bud. But oh yeah, yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> just put it, just put it right there, man. We all right. Another uh fine bit of carroting. Didn't really burn the bottom of it too much. Ah, the taste of food poisoning. What do you mean food poisoning? It's fine. The carrots don't taste good. Are we gonna get banned from Twitch? For uh eating sausages, yeah. They're like, this is unsafe and weird, and they're like, no. This is what happens with... This is why we don't have uh, local access TV anymore, because people do stuff like this all the time, and they're like, nobody wants to see... Who's watching this at 2 a.m.? You know what I mean? Like, this is the kind of shit you'd be turning... You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. It cooked the hot dog you originally put on here really well, actually. Hmm. Actually, really well. It does need more time. That's what I figured. I mean, it's it's old, and it's also... I bet American hot dogs in the 50s were tiny, and you could just put a dozen of them in there. You probably could cook a potato in this, because it did cook the uh, carrots a little bit, but you'd need like a lot of time for a potato, I'd say. At that point, just use your oven. Yeah. Well, let's take off this big, giant, burnt one. Like, use your actual oven in the process it's designed for. Don't bring your friends over and show them your plastic... You know, mm. hot dog stabber. Oh yeah, look at the interior of that. Like you know, oh, you yeah. know you're gonna sit through a Gerbs game if the DM has this on the table. <laughs> mm. Chorizo. Mm. Very good. Everyone's like potato. No, here's the thing. I like my potatoes. I'm not wasting them. To, to for this for like five minutes mainly because they would only cook on one end of it yeah it wouldn't do anything i have to have a well, they big won't, potato they won't, they won't cook at all in, unless they're bridge in the middle yeah um actually that isn't true either just one side of it's very hot and the other side's cold mm. i fucking knew it would smell like burning plastic using this thing mm. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, this is the okay. saddest hot dog I've ever had. I'm, I'm gonna look go, at her egg. I'm gonna. Oh my god! <laughs> it it cooked the egg kind of. All right, I'm gonna get up and cook a real a sausage just to make this up for this. I what have are you talking to. about? Look I, at this. Nope. 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 I'm just having a little. Thank you, Nano I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That's that. I. I don't like like I like eggs when they're cooked. Are you actually gonna cook something? Yes. All right, Tex uh, is gonna go cook a actual. Sausage. And and you're like, wash your hands. Yeah, we plan on it. Don't worry. I have no intention of eating uh, egg on anything like that. But yeah. What are you saying, why? What do you mean, why? Look at this. This is why. This is a delicious soup. You're in the middle of a battle, you know? Bullets are flying. And the thing, you got the guy with the giant like generator backpack who's got to be able to plug this in oh. he's got like one of those like 15 plug power bricks it smells they're both in there like god it stinks yeah yeah it stinks you can see these prongs are actually very excuse me very dark very gassy now the chorizo will do that to you it was a hundred percent success quick this was a fantastic send this was well worth it. Don't worry, I will clean this. It it won't be a problem to clean that up. Yes, now for a new episode of Corvid Cooking. This is not war crimes nerf. You don't know. I would sooner eat the bullets being shot. You don't okay, retro, sure. Sure. Alright, yeah. Okay, this needs to be attached to the Vox backpack for the Inquisitor Squad of 48. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, I think this would be absolutely wonderful. I'm so pleased to hear that. Glad you enjoyed. Also concerned for the health of everyone involved. I will say this. I don't think I'm going to get into any danger, uh, mainly because I only ate very small amounts of it, and I didn't eat anything that touched the metal of this very old device, except for maybe a carrot, but I didn't even eat the end of that because, no, uh, no thank you. Uh, the egg tried to cook. It got warm. Didn't quite scramble it as I'd like it, but, you know, not a whole lot you can really do there. So Tex is actually making a real sausage to kind of compete yeah, with this one. Yeah, he's got himself a uh, that's goat there. He's got himself a uh, stein. It is a mess. Thou hath made a mess. It is. Bless this mess. Mmm, tetanus for Can dinner. Can you survive the winter with a generator and a hot dogger? Yeah, it's quite easily. The hot dogger is quite versatile as a cooking utensil if you have a supply of electricity. <laughs> you got yourself an 18-gauge cable here, which, as you know, is very good at carrying high amounts of current through them. <laughs> I mean, you can almost feel the copper inside the jacket of this uh, rubber housing. Yeah, uh, great insulation. Uh, I'm assuming that at the time they made this, rubber was still in high demand. Yeah, they didn't know how to synthesize it that well. Yeah, and plastic was still new, as this is. Plastic is very interesting. One thing I also like is the plug has this uh, kind of like a gap in between the, the prongs themselves, which makes it a really interesting kind of find, honestly. Yeah, you're saying the Godspeed text, the universe must be repenciled. This yeah, is the worst rebounds. thing we've ever done on a stream. I feel like some parts of this device this may not be entirely safe for use. Laura Bow. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Laura Bow <laughs> was hilarious. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Yeah, was, the only ran. thing that was funny about Lorbo was Tex like tricking you into falling down the fucking chute like five times. Wow. So far, goat. So, so far, far, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get even worse. Asking for a friend, but uh, could you cook like say a thigh roast? Hmm. You probably could. My question is: Is why are they worried about me crossing the streams? That's my question. Like, why why are they worried about the streams being crossed? Because this is just from my I don't know. Yeah, we have electricians on chat. But yeah, I I don't know why they'd want us to not cross it. I know that you wouldn't want to put them on those, but these guys they're all just one single, unless these are. You know what? It's probably because there's an in and out. Oh, I see what they're doing. So I'm guessing they're saying like push it over to the cross. So you can probably do crisscross, but what they're saying is don't do it like one over to the next. Even then, I still don't think that would be a problem. I don't know what their deal is. If a child went blind. Yeah, this is not something you turn on and walk away from, like a microwave. This is something you turn on and you watch for two minutes because it could kill you. But if you survive, you get a delicious hot dog, egg, carrot, it's, it's not pepperoni, the delicious. chorizo. Don't, don't, didn't use that word. It is delicious. No. I had a great time eating this wonderful MRE from oh, Nano Trazen. What? <laughs> look, it's better than. Look, they said go out and hunt. I found food. You found this is so well crafted as well. Squick, you did a great job on this, man. Thanks, Squick. This is horrible. <laughs> My God, God, your Majesty. Your Majesty. Imagine if you drew your regular uh, electric stovetop burner to stab a hot dog on, on and see how long it takes. Please, no. Maybe. Cross the beams. Yeah. The prong design is common in older equipment. The spring action helps secure the plug in the socket, and modern sockets have reversed the design and used contacts in the plug to provide a friction fit. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you're doing. Yeah, you watch the food because it could kill you. Then you eat the food, which could likely kill you. Likely. Yeah, and remember, you got to unplug it first. If you try to pull the the thing out yeah, before unplugging, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, if you plug, if you take this off while it's on, it doesn't do anything because all the contact, all the power. Yeah, is but you in can accidentally lid. touch the contacts on the lid. No, you can't. 
not unless the lid's broken because yeah, the I contacts guess. are deep inside these plastic wells. So unless those are broken, you should be fine. But I am seeing a lot of round uh, wound of copper wire inside of those, which is hilarious. So it's Actually, the crackheads delight. Yeah. There's just giant bundles of copper wire on the inside of those prongs. You can't see it that well on camera. Oh, but trust me, they're in there. That's pretty scary. You can kind of see the big copper thing going through the middle. I hear sizzling. I think it's from the 70s. No, this is from the 50s, I believe. This is god awful. Yeah, he's like, don't fuck with the electricity. Better be safe than crippled. I wish my grandpa was still alive so I could show this to him and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, nah, he would probably love it. Yeah, yeah he would. He's, he's like, like, oh, yeah, I remember those. Yeah. <laughs> he would. I remember those. So many house fires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Tex is doing his best risky business in the kitchen. Sliding across the floor. He said electromagnets. Yeah, you could probably get away with that. You could probably cook a squirrel on it. I don't want to cook a squirrel. Squirrels are uh, not exactly... Uh, on the highest uh, level of I, I want to eat that. Unless you're an owl, then yeah, let's go for it. Current won't flow if the two sides don't make contact. They have to cross over. Now, you see, that's what we thought, Superfly Johnson, but I'll say this. It's carrots cooked anyway. So something weird is going on with this machine. Cooked. Yeah, it did. Me marrow's cooked. It warmed it. Okay, Mike. Yeah, well, I don't see you cooking anything. Where's your hot dogger? Do you want... Hey, no, no, I got it better. Do you want a hot dogger? No. Put it right there on your desk. No. That is not... If that goes on my desk, I'm going to strip the copper wire out and sell it. Yeah, one of your country would make an MRE in the note says, use the hot dogger and horrify your allies into giving you some of their rations. Yes. Presto now makes a bacon cooker. Excellent. You could probably throw a steak on there. You're right. A full steak would be kind of fun. How how fast do you think a full steak would cook on this thing? Probably like 20 minutes. Yeah. Cook, I, cook I, is a... Well, generous yeah. term, though. And also, like, how long before it melts the plastic? <laughs> That's the real question right there. I wonder if Steve, M Steve in 1989 MRE would like this. Oh, I'm sure he would have a blast with it. He could probably turn this thing into uh, into a multi-tool. <sighs> nice. Yeah. He'd probably take the prongs off and then just uh, make his own, like, free-floating, like, uh uh, thing for gyro, yeah, this like the lamb, gyro. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the kebab, yeah, the the giant like spindle of uh, yeah, lamb kebab. meat, yeah. You could do that with this if you had it free floating, but with hot dogs, <sighs> so you can have it spinning around while you're, you know, trying to sell your your fine uh, fine meals here. Steve, if you're watching this, we'd love to have you on. Steve screen. saw the Steve saw this and he was like, no, he saw the thumbnail. He's like, hell no. <laughs> He's like, nah, I don't want to. I don't watch someone die on can camera. We get, can we get Steve on the podcast though? He's like, I don't want to watch someone die on camera. This is not. <laughs> That's the... not nice. It's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. All right, so yeah. Tex, you cook some actual hot dogs. Let's see. Let, let's show let's show compare. the camera, Mike. Oh, I am. Don't worry. Comparison time. Let's move sideways. All right. We have our. Home cooked. Actually, put this back over here. Home cooked versus our hot dogger cooked. Uh, since he only cooked these hot dogs in this, I'm not going to base it off the chorizo because I don't have one. So, I'll uh, I'll try it versus the uh, Presto hot dog cooker. Hmm. Surprisingly, the suppressor, the Presto hot dog cooker, doesn't cook these hot dogs as nicely. Surprisingly. What about the other one? Let's find out. Get one that isn't linked up. Hmm. No, take them both. 
Show what you're doing on the camera. They taste exactly the same between the cooked regular hot dogs. It's just the fancy uh, sausages. It did not cook that very well. But yeah, the hot dogs taste the same. <laughs> they didn't really change it that much. It's a little hotter. I think that's the difference. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Will never be a cooking device like the hot dog. Yes, exactly. I had to just look at my research first. It says 1969 for the hot dogger. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think you get a better browning with 483 phase. Yeah. You're right. I should be good. I should get better browning with that. With higher power. We should get a generator. Yes. And just crank it. Yes. And see what else we can put on this in the backyard. Where we can put it out in case there's an actual fire. But I think that's the end of tonight's stream. Uh, we we were just going to basically cook a bunch of random hot dogs on this wonderful device sent to us by Squick. And then uh, try to take it a little easy. What's that? I almost slipped on the floor when I came around the corner. Oh, he yeah, almost slipped on the floor when he came around the corner, he said. Uh, but yeah, uh, anything you two want to say before we go? Glory to Ukraine. Fuck this thing. Yes, glory to Ukraine and fuck this thing, apparently. Very well done. Excellent job. Well done. Another fine MRE for surviving in the battlefield. The Presto Hot Dogger. That's right. For just six easy pavements of 1998, you too can own one of these. Fine hot dog cookers. As well. Or just join the Nano Trace and... Uh, Security forces, and uh, you too will get one of these fine presto things. Thank you, uh, Squick, the uh, regional uh, uh, food dispensary quartermaster number seven of uh, Nano Trace and Space Station 13. Thank you very much. Yes, Texas pointing that out. All right, guys. I hope you guys had fun. That was fun for us. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and do we have this? I don't think I have the sexy sax on this uh, computer. I normally don't have all this stuff out here. Nah, not this time. Next time, though. Why do I have a... Bu oh, I have a thing that's just called text, but I know what's on here. <laughs> it's like a bunch of buttons that just we put in, like, sound effects that text likes. Oh. Stuff that you would ask that we never really get a chance to use. We'll use it next time. Oh, right. oh that's the sound I'm looking for. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay safe out there and have a good one.